Welcome back to my channel. I am Christy Van with Fantastic Finances and on this channel I usually teach Velocity Banking but today we are talking with Tammy in Georgia and she is going to give us a little overview of how her Velocity strategies have been working for her, how she feels about the concept and what kind of shape she's in today after doing Velocity for just a little while. Hello Tammy and welcome. Thank you so much for coming on and kind of giving, um, you know, other people that are involved in the strategy or thinking about stepping into the strategy ideas on how it's gone for you, how you feel about it. And if you will continue, I mean, is this going to be a new lifelong strategy that you'll use or how do you feel about the strategy, the concept in general? Well, thanks for having me on the um, channel. And yes, I'm definitely going to be using this of course. I hadn't known about it years ago, but um, I've only been doing it for about six months now. And it's really been, a, it's been really a, a mind changing, you know, experience. And so far we're doing really good. I'm loving it. Okay. So like, tell me where you started, what kind of debt were you looking at? Was it credit cards or loans? You know, how, how deep in debt were you? Well, what I'm really working on right now is just a consumer debt, you know, like a credit, credit cards. Um, we had a personal loan and we had um, a car loan and um, yeah, a bunch of credit card debt. Okay. So what did your cash flow look like when you started? When we started, it was about, I would say, um, I guess like, it was like 13. Okay. People. Yeah. Okay. So where do you stand currently with your debt balance and your cash flow? Um, it's about well when we first started, I think it was actually thirty eight thousand. Right now it is um thirty four thousand and um and I started using Velocity Bank and we using my credit cards and my credit score was in the low six hundreds. Okay. And so I worked it all the way up as of September, um, well, the end of September, it was up to 698 and 711. Oh, wow. And so that qualified us for HELOC. So we got approved for a HELOC and we're starting to, to do the velocity banking with our HELOC now. Nice. Okay. That is excellent news. So, Tell me about your struggles with the velocity. Did you, when you first started, um, even though you had heard about it years ago, you actually implemented the strategy starting about six months ago. What kind of struggles did you run into when you first started? Did you have the basic fears that everyone has or tell me about what you went through? Um, at first, when I first heard about it, I saw another lady on YouTube talking about it. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's just too much. I can't, you know, it was it just went way over my head. And so when I found her channel, you broke it down for me. And so it was, it, a light bulb went off. And so once I watched your channel and watched, you know, I watched it just about every video I could watch on it. And it, it just clicked. And once it clicked, I went in and I love spreadsheets. So I went in and did a spreadsheet, you know, versus how I was doing it and how velocity banking would, you know, accelerate it. And I was like, okay, I think this will work. Mm -hmm. And I just implemented and the only problem I had was like, um, it was more so like little mistakes, like, oh, I forgot to um, put this in the account or, you know, just because I had everything to go automatic. And so I might have forgotten. So it was just a lot of moving parts and changing things. And I might have forgot something. But, right. and after, but after that, you know, after a couple, a month or so, once I realized, oh, I forgot that, put it in and it's been smooth sailing since. Right. So you started out the way I did because I had to start out with credit cards because my credit score was like, I think it was 530. It was so low. Um, so you literally just started out with the credit card strategy. Um, how, like, did you start with the multiple credit cards or did you do one balance at a time? I did one balance at a time and I had American Express and that's the credit card that I was focused on first. Okay. So what was the balance on that credit card? Um, it was $11,000. Okay. So that's the one that you worked down to get your credit score up and then you were able to obtain the HELOC. 
Right. Okay. Because yeah. you, you were talking about you had a car loan, or did you transfer that into the HELOC yet, or are you still working on credit cards? Um, I transferred everything into the HELOC because we got a special rate of three. You know, it was two point nine nine for nice. the first twelve um, billing cycles. Okay. And so I transferred every all the you know the consumer debt into the. Um, Lock. Okay, so that really increased your cash flow just yes. by turning those payments into cash flow. Okay, that's excellent. Oh my yeah, goodness. Sure yeah. So what's your projected payoff date? Do you know? Um, yeah, let me pull it up right quick. Let's okay. see. I think it's, um, okay, so projected is February, which is going to be 26. February of 2026. That's still I mean, excellent. 2025. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. So February of 2025. That's awesome. And I was like, there's no way, I will close, you know, because we had gotten out of debt before mm -hmm. and, you know, we, I did do the Bay Rancy thing and um, so I need to try to find another way to doing this. Right. Sure. Well, that is awesome. So um, just some basic questions about your HELOC. Have you considered doing the first lien HELOC or did you just decide the second position was enough? Um, this, we just decided to do the second position right now. Okay. Will you start on your mortgage after you've paid off this remaining 35000 Um, That's where we're kind of hesitant about because I'm thinking to maybe to use the HELOC to get an Airbnb because we have rent it, we have real estate. And so um, we're just kind of so up in the air about that. If we can find a really good deal, and that's what we're gonna do. Okay. But if not, yes, we definitely will. Okay. I know that with the first lien HELOCs that I've been checking into with people, when they pay off their mortgage, it turns that payment into cash flow as well. And a lot of people are paying really high payments on mortgages that they currently like only owe 90,000 on. But like yesterday I worked with a couple and their payoff I think was at 98,000 and, but they were paying like uh, almost $4,000 a month because it had been quite a large mortgage that they got at the beginning. When we looked at transferring the mortgage into a first lien, it literally cut their payoff period down to two years because all of that mortgage payment now goes to cash flow and then they pay the interest, you know, through the first lien HELOC. And I mean, there was just no comparison to what their cash flow increased just by putting everything into the first lien. So I know that the lines of credit make the real difference. When you can actually knock out those payments and turn them into cash flow, it is an amazing process how quickly that works. I love that. I think I, I, I probably run into that at least once a day where people are still struggling making the mortgage payment uh, when they just, you know, they have the equity in the home. They're not going to be, tying up any more equity by transferring it from the mortgage tool into the HELOC tool. But people just don't understand that because we weren't taught to look at our debt that way. Right. Uh, you know, we were just taught to make those payments until it pays off and then hope you live that long and <laughs> that you don't go for broke in the, the meantime. So it's pretty exciting to people when they realize, oh my goodness, I can be done with all of this, you know, in a couple of years. Uh, so I am so thankful though, that you guys have really, um, you know, come together on it. Did you have a hard time pulling your spouse into it? Um, no, he's more so, you know, whatever you think is best, just do it. The only problem I really had is because it was him who got the, um, the new car, you know, I'm like, really? We just got out of debt. How are we going to get this out? <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. What is the balance on the new car before you transferred it into the HELOC? Um, he had just got it, and so the balance was, what's the total balance? So the, it's, it was fourteen fourteen eight fourteen thousand eight hundred dollars Okay. So you just paid that off. How much cash flow did you gain from transferring that into the HELOC? Um, $380. Nice. Well, see, every dime you get that can go into that HELOC is going to do nothing but pay it down. Yes, um, yes. I think that's awesome. Um, I just and the interest rate on that was like ten percent, and so since we got the HELOC, it's only at two point ninety nine. Oh my so. goodness! Wow, and it's two point nine nine at the simple interest. Uh, sure. That car loan was an amortized schedule, so they were kicking you all with the interest right up front. Oh, yeah, that's where they get us right there. Yeah. <sighs> 
I am so excited to hear that about you guys though. Wow. I mean, uh, I always, I always love to hear the testimonies of people because some of them are absolutely crazy uh, good. And then some, you know, are just trucking right along and it's going to eventually all work out. And it's just beautiful because people find that peace that, you know, that I teach. I want everybody to step into an area where they can deal with their marriage. They can deal with their children. Uh, you know, just the other things of life that happen and are such a struggle anyway. And who in the world wants to throw finances in with, you know, in with that and just have a real, um, gosh, I mean, I can't even describe the feeling of freedom that I felt when I learned how to do velocity banking. That just made I'm all the difference. You. Yes, it really does. And then when little things come up, like when we first started, um, which was in May, um, we had, I had a car repairs that needed to be done. And it was, you know, like before I've been like, I'm scrambling trying to pay the money because I didn't want to put it on my credit card. Well, now I put it on my credit card and, you know, it might have lessened the amount that I could, you know, pay towards the, the credit card, but it's, it's just so freeing, you know, when things come up. Absolutely. And I mean, have y'all had your vacation yet? Do you have one planned? Yes, we take we took a vacation. Um, we rented an Airbnb um, at a local. Well, it's about thirty minutes away. Um, a lake. We stayed there. My husband and I enjoyed um, our anniversary weekend. We went down to Florida. Nice. So, and and because of all of the, um, I'm putting everything on the credit card. I was able to get cash back and. It's just been mind blowing. I'm just telling you, it's just I just thank you so much because uh, when I first saw your video, I was like, oh my gosh! <laughs> I know how you feel because that's exactly the way I felt. You're giving me chili bumps because it so reminds me of when I started, and I was just so you know I was a single mom at the time, and it was like so um, relieving. I can't even I can't explain the feeling of. I can breathe. And that's why I say that in my video so much is because people don't really get to breathe because they're so uh, preoccupied with what's going on with their finances. I mean, uh, back in the day, I literally was watching my account online uh, two or three times a day. I would pull up my bank account just to see what had bounced in the day because I did not have the funds to cover it. So, uh, wow, what a life changing experience that Velocity has been for me. And when I hear people like you talk, which I get these testimonies every day, uh, several times a day, but people don't want to usually air their business out there. I appreciate you so much for allowing me to speak with you about this so that, you know, people can see that there, this is a life changing, game changing, um, exciting new way to live. And you definitely, you make me feel the same feelings that I have. And I think that's the joy behind me teaching it is because uh, just to know that people are going to find relief if they will just jump in and lose the fear. And a lot of people are afraid to take that step and just start doing it. And you did. And I'm so proud of you. I'm so excited for you to know that you can do the numbers, you know? Yeah. If, it, if the math works, it works. It is just math too, you know, it's just yeah. math. Uh, just like with infinite banking, we've been talking a lot about the fear that people have behind using infinite banking even. So that's another thing I'm working uh, on my videos is to help people also understand uh, how those policies work so that they can move right into those as well. And it's a game changer. So there's so much information that I want to keep learning too, to keep sharing with people so that they can, you know, just get their financial side in order so that right. when the retirement years come, they're already set and ready to go. Uh, right. I'm very excited about that. And with infinite banking, I've been watching your videos and just getting my feedback with that. And my main concern is that I'm not getting any younger. I'm in my mid forties. And so I was thinking, well, if I can accelerate my, you know, my retirement and my, retirement accounts where I can, not retirement accounts, but anything that can help me retire sooner right. or later, I'm re, you know, I'm all years. Right. And do you have children? Yes, I do have four children, two wow. still at home. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so you are busy. And the thing with the children uh, that I'm actually doing again this week is I'm setting them up 
for my children. They already have policies. Two are adults. One is still at home. And uh, I don't know if the video has been released yet where Chris Noggle is stating that he has an infinite policy on his three-year-old daughter. He makes deposits of 5000 a year oh, into okay. the policy of his three-year-old daughter. And by the time she is 18, when she may need to use it for a car or whatever, she'll have almost $100,000 in there. Um, that is beautiful to set your children up like that, because what do we do? We set them up to pay student loans when they get out right. of high school. Uh, he is working 5,000 a year is not much. I mean, I don't care, you know, how broke you are. You can make 5,000 a year happen uh, for something as important as teaching your children how to use their own money by the time they're of age, instead of going to get a loan from a bank. So that being said, I have them on my children. Um, I never had done the calculations as to, you know, when my youngest daughter will turn 18, what she'll have. But to know that she would be able to start with her own bank and not have to ever get a bank loan, that makes me very happy because I am going to do that for her. If the Lord will allow me to. And I'm going to have her ready with her own bank by the time she gets to the point she may need a loan. Now she can take the loan from herself. So uh, yeah, definitely get your feet wet with the infinite banking because that will move into greater areas for your children, especially. But you know, too, uh, Chris and I are releasing more videos on that, getting more detailed information out to the American public because um, it is a, it's a different way to think completely. Velocity banking, that's using different tools the bank offers. But to literally step into using uh, policies for your own bank, uh, that took me a minute. I learned about infinite banking and velocity banking at the same time, but it okay. took me about 10 years. Yeah, about 10 years to step into the infinite policies because I was like, uh, that seems a little risky. You know? uh, but I love it. I have uh, five policies now working on one additional one for each daughter now. Uh, hopefully it'll be done here in a couple of months. So uh, I'm excited to do it. The older two are now able to make their own deposits uh, on top of what I put in. So that's kind of what we're discussing is how much do you want to fund your future? You know, because the 20 year olds just aren't getting it. They're not getting velocity banking and they're not getting infinite banking. And I feel like that it's because uh, for us guys who are older, we've been through life and we know how the tough it is. The struggle is real when it comes to finances and the 20 year olds, they're like just getting started and they've not really been smacked down real good yet. Uh, so I hope that we can avoid that for our children, you know, in the future. But at the same time, we've got a bunch of young people out there. They're taking on these 7% mortgages right now. Um, life is tough. And when you don't have any money, it's a little bit tougher, right? right yeah. uh, I think it was Zig Ziglar that said, uh, money doesn't fix everything, but it sure does make it a whole lot easier. And right. I have yes. to agree. Yeah. I just want to tell you thank you again. You know, I couldn't thank you love. Well, I am very happy to do what I do. And I am, asking any of the audiences watching this video to please share with me your testimonies. Yes, I want to help you if you're in debt. I want to help you find ways to get out. But I also know that these testimonies of people that have had success and are in the middle of the process of velocity banking, um, I know it helps the guys out there that are skeptics, uh, ones that are fearful. Um, I just think that it's a game changer. No matter where you're at in life, uh, velocity banking and infinite banking can definitely make the, the struggle a lot easier. And, you know, it can really fund your retirement future if you're looking into infinite banking. So for goodness sake, stop the fear. Let's just run with it and do it. Yeah, let's just do it. And if you've got a spouse that's not on board, which I do hear that a lot, your spouse is on board, which is beautiful. Uh, but I would say half of the calls I get of married couples, we've got a spouse that's like not into it. They won't add their income into it and let's help play the game. When you're working with two incomes, it makes the debt pay off so much faster than somebody's so trying to faster. do it. Yeah. It really does. It really knocks it out. Yeah. 
So I am excited for you. I really am. Oh, sure. Thank you. You're so welcome. I just we appreciate it. We have property, and I'm, we keep the, you know, we keep everything separate. So on that side of things, I'm using Velocity Baking also, you know. Okay. So it's just been really life changing because, you know, with the, with the rentals and it's, I just, get, like I said, I just can't thank you enough. Right. Well, it's, thank you. Thank you for reaching out. Excellent passive income from what I've seen, the Airbnbs. Um, mm -hmm. I've even considered that myself and am looking into that because I have people that are bringing in, you know, $10,000 plus a month just off of two homes. So yeah. that's a good income, especially if you're close to retirement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm wanting to use as part of my retirement is the passive income from the rentals. Well, that sounds like a good idea to me. <laughs> I mean, don't hesitate to send me an email to keep me updated for sure, because I love, love, love to hear these stories of people that are finding success. Wow. It, it just, it just, I wish that people could understand that this, I could not get paid a dime to do what I do. And I love it just because I love to hear the joy in people's voices of, you know, just where they're at today. I think that's beautiful. Um, I do. And your children are going to, they're going to figure it out. And then they're going to thank you for sharing that with them. So yeah. it's pretty yeah, exciting. I didn't have to share what my son told me the other day. He asked us if we were rich. And I told him, no, we're not rich. He goes, well, mom, you must be really good with money. And that just made me, you know, it made me smile, you know? I know. That's beautiful. You gave me chili bumps again. Stop that. Uh, <laughs> So my daughter said to me the other day, she said, mom, are we rich? And I said, well, I am. I don't know about you. We'll have to see how it goes when you get out on your own and get to moving. <laughs> you kind of got to keep kids in their place. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's just uh, the vacation thing. I'm so glad you're doing that. Um, that's the memories. That's the memories that people in debt uh, that are in over their head are missing right there. And right. your children are getting to enjoy their mom and they're feeling your peace and kids need that. You know, there's enough going on outside of these four walls. When they come home, they need to be, you know, protected and loved. And I, you know, you can talk to me about anything and not just feeling that, oh my gosh, mom's stressed out again today because obviously, you know, bills due and she can't pay it. Oh, I have so been there. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is such a great video. <laughs> <laughs> so we just wanted to share this with you, the audience, so that you can get a little bit of peace about Velocity Banking and the joy that it will bring into your life if you're struggling with finances. Oh, we don't want you there. No one wants you there. I don't want you there. Uh, my team works hard to keep all of these videos going out so that we can reach as many people as possible with planting that seed. It's totally your decision if you want to try Velocity Banking, uh, if you want to believe the concept or not, totally your decision. I'm not mad at you if you decide that you don't want to do Velocity Banking, not mad at you if you don't want to do Infinite Banking. But if I can plant those seeds, at least I know that Americans are getting the word and they have a new option to have that game changing concept in their life as well. Thank you guys for joining me today. I hope you have a terrific week and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.